ahead and, and introduce herself. Good morning. My name is Dr. Talisha Cottingham. I'm the Associate Dean for Nursing at Tri-C. Welcome. Great. Well, we're going to kick it off here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, did you want to go over this first slide, Dr. Cunningham, first, or is it okay to go to the second slide? I would like to go over this one. Cool. So our Dean of Nursing is Dr. Wendy Batch Wilson, and we have two program directors that work direct mostly with our students, Dr. Christine Myers and Dr. Veda Mack. So on behalf of us all, we'd like to welcome you to this information session. Next slide. So when I'm speaking with students who are looking at nursing or considering nursing, I always ask why. Why do you want to be a nurse? Um, because I believe the passion is very important. Nursing is a very hard field. And if you don't have that passion behind it for what you want to do, then it's going to be very hard to get through. So um, why, what are good reasons? You're a people person. You love to help others. You're interested in health and are, you're amazed at how the body works or you want to make a difference in the lives of others. Um, some other reasons I hear that you might want to explore a little more is my mom was a nurse, so I'm going to be a nurse or somebody told me this was a good field. So I would encourage you if those are the reasons you're seeking nursing to talk to our staff to explore a little bit more about nursing to find out more about it um, because it is a commitment and a journey. Our program is 4 semesters long in length um, from start to finish, but you'll have an additional um, about 3 semesters of prerequisite classes to take um, depending on where you are in your college journey. So. Um, other reasons why people choose nursing, you're good in math and science. Math and science are, are the core foundation pillars for our program. So you really need to be good in those courses. You are a lifelong learner. Learning and nursing never stops. Once you get your degree, you have to continue do continuing education credits every year to maintain your license. There's always new disease processes coming out that you need to learn about, new medications, et cetera. So, um, and another good reason is that there's endless career opportunities. So a lot of people think about nursing and think about the bedside care. Um, and that's where many of our nurses start and it's a great foundation, but there's also teaching, education, research, flight nursing, um, advanced practice nursing, school nursing, nursing um, legal consultants, care managers. So there's so many different things that you can do in nursing and so many different options is one of the reasons I really love this field. Next slide. <laughs> so to get into our nursing program, after you've been admitted to the college, all of our applicants must be 18 years of age and have their high school um, diploma conferred or have a GED or a college degree. You must have a GPA of 2.75 or higher at your Tri-C or college transfer courses. You must take the HESI A2 exam, and that exam tests high school level math and English. Um, you have to score at least a 75% on that test in both of those component areas in order to be admitted to our program. And then you have to have CPR, which is BLS for healthcare providers, some immunizations, and go through a background check. Our prerequisite courses are Bio 2331, which is Anatomy and Physiology 1, and Psychology 1010. You must oh, I have this flipped on the slide, I'm sorry. You must pass those courses with a grade of C or higher. I'm sorry, B or higher, it is correct. <laughs> but Psych should be down there with math. So Bio 2331 must be with a grade of B or higher. And then your other core courses must be with a grade of C or higher. So Psych 1010 and Math 1240 or higher. Nursing 1000 and Nursing 1010. So you do take two nursing courses before you're admitted to our program. And those courses are designed to give you an introduction to nursing, to um, let you taste what a clinical is like, um, to give you experience in our field, and to give you a feel for the rigor of our program. So you can ensure that this is something you want to do before entering the program. Next slide. So I talked about the prerequisite courses, the HESI, the GPA, that's your first step. Then once you're admitted into the program, there's four semesters in our program. Nursing courses are progressive, so you'll start in Nursing 1200, which is your introductory level med surge nursing course. It has clinical, lab, and lecture in the class. Um, and then each semester, you have to pass that nursing course before going on to the next one. So you can't double up courses to try to finish early if you bring in transfer credits or anything like that. You do have to take them consecutively. Clinical placements, a lot of students want to know, if I come into your program, where do I do my clinicals at? Well, we have um, partnerships with every, almost every hospital or health system in the greater Cleveland area and into Summit County as well. Um, you will have 
clinicals at nursing homes, in hospitals, um, at long-term care facilities, um, at psychiatric facilities, in pediatric centers, in labor and delivery and OB. Um, and so you have clinicals across the lifespan in a variety of settings. I put the COVID there um, just to let students know as you're coming in, COVID um, has affected some of our clinical placements um, and limited them in some ways as they're converting units to COVID units, but we do try to get you in the hospital every single semester and get that hands-on experience because there's no replacement for it. And I also put that COVID there because many of our hospital partners are now requiring the COVID vaccine without exception. And so we like to let students know that upfront so that can be a consideration as you're coming into the program as well. And then finally, stackable certificates. So next slide, please. So our program um, is a stackable certificate program. So that means when you finish those prerequisite courses, nursing 1000 and nursing 1010, you'll be eligible to sit for the Ohio um, State Nursing Assistant exam. Once you finish the first semester of our program, actually in the nursing program, you'll be eligible to sit for the licensed practical nursing test. And then once you complete the program in its entirety, you'll be able to sit for your boards as a registered nurse. Next slide. Ah, sorry, hang on. <laughs> there you go, apologize. <laughs> Okay, and so um, then this is usually the part where I start to talk about that your beginning at Tri-C is a great start. We hope to have you here. Our associate degree nurses are employed at many facilities across the greater Cleveland area and have successful careers. But we like to emphasize that it's the start and we want you to continue on to get your BSN and maybe your MSN after that and contribute to the greater nursing community. So, if you have questions about the nursing program at all, you can email us at nursing at tri-c.edu or call us at 216-987-4067. Um, we have live chat hours as well, um, and we'll be happy to answer any of your questions. But I will now turn it over to Jamie to talk to you about how you continue your education um, and transfer. Awesome. Thank you, Dr. Cottingham. So, as I mentioned before, um, I am a transfer specialist at the Western campus, um, but we currently have transfer services um, at 3 campuses right now. Um, the Western campus, the metropolitan campus and the West shore campus, um, and you can see our lovely, lovely faces there, but who we are um, and what we provide are um, assistance services with exploring transfer pathways and partnerships, researching schools and programs and scholarships. Connecting with 4 year schools application assistance general transfer planning assistance. We have different events and transfer fairs and tours that we typically offer um, and also external advising. And so that sounds like a lot, um, but really what we're here to do is to help support that transition from your associate degree completion um, to a four year degree program. And we have different um, partnerships with different schools. Um, obviously, a lot of the institutions. That we partner with are very close by to Tri-C. We're super fortunate in Northeast Ohio to have several institutions um, pretty close by or um, within the state itself. So we try to help you explore what program might best fit your needs. Um, and we can help with the application process, exposing you through different events um, and things of that nature. External advising is the opportunity to sit down and talk with a four year rep before even applying to that school. So we do offer for a lot of our four year partners that opportunity. Um, it's a nice way to shop and get an idea of how classes transfer. Um, what else maybe could still be taken at Tri-C if that's something you wish to do um, or what the sequencing would be like at that institution. So it's a really nice opportunity to expose yourself to those schools um, prior to transferring. We want students to see us early. So even if you think you're not transferring for a bit of time, the earlier you get to chat with us and talk about your options, the better so that that transition can be smooth and you also know who to connect with um, while you're a student at Tri-C. So some must do's that we, we wanna make sure that you have a conversation with. Um, so as, 
as Dr. Cunningham was talking about our associate degree program and how the wonderful career opportunities for nursing there are beyond the associate's degree, if you already know that you'd like to be, you know, a nurse practitioner or teach in the field um, or do research or some other areas that would require a bachelor's degree program and beyond, you want to make sure that you're communicating that um, to us and your academic counselor um, so that they have a sense of that your, your end goal is not just the associate degree, but you also are looking at transfer options because the most you can take through Tri-C and making the most of that experience is something they can review with you academically as well. So please ensure your academic counselor, uh, make sure you're telling your academic counselor that you're planning on transferring um, because that could definitely impact your academic planning. Okay. As I mentioned before, we want you to connect with us early. Um, so knowing your major and intended school can be helpful, but also know that we can help you explore those options. I'm going to go over in the next couple of slides here shortly some partnerships that we have for RN to BSN programs and other nursing partnerships. So um, it's okay to not know where, um, but if you do have a sense, like I mentioned before, of of what level maybe you're thinking about going through um, or exploring those options, we can certainly do that too as well. Um, tri -C offers associate degrees designed for transfer, which is general associate of arts or the general associate of science. Um, although applied degrees are generally not designed for transfer, there are seamless transfer pathways available for select majors. Nursing is one of them. So the nursing degree at tri -C is the associate of applied science in nursing. We have a lot of transfer pathways um, that can help students transfer um, you know, to an RN to BSN program. Some students do explore the general associate of science if they're not looking to complete our nursing program for whatever reason, um, and they might look into transferring into a nursing program. And we, you know, we can talk about those options too, um, depending on that as well. But we have partnerships and statewide transfer agreements uh, that may also support your transition to a four year school as well. So these are some, some things we want you to be mindful of when you're considering transferring. So when I say this word partnership, you're probably wondering, what is that? And what do you mean by that? Um, partnership's a fancy way of saying that Tri-C works really well with some specific institutions, mostly in Ohio, but we do have some partnerships outside of Ohio. Um, there are different types and each are unique. Um, it helps streamline the transfer process and it can include, include perks to help you save time and money. Um, so sometimes there are special partnerships like dual admission um, or statewide um, transfer agreements or things of that nature that we can kind of show you as an option that might best, sit, best suit where you're moving forward within your degree program. Um, dual admissions are special partnerships that allow students to be admitted to a four year school while they're still attending Tri C. Um, we have probably a good maybe six or seven of them that we have current agreements with um, and just making sure that you know, you know, the, the eligibility of those programs because some of them do work a little bit differently. Um, but you can always talk to a transfer specialist about the opportunity of dual admission. Statewide transfer guaranteed. These are called Ohio guaranteed transfer pathways also known as OGTPs. Um, a lot of them come from the general associates degrees, but there are definitely um, some, some other areas that students can explore to see how classes may transfer to other public institutions. Um, there's a transfer assurance guide and also Ohio Transfer 36, which is formerly known as OTM. Um, that's pretty much a general education piece of, of a bachelor's degree. Um, and a lot of our associate degrees uh, tend to touch on that at least a little bit, or if not all of it, like in the general associate of arts or science. So we explain all this to you and as a student in layman terms for sure, but these are some of the, the things that we we like to highlight, um, as I mentioned, we have 30 plus partner schools. So the ones listed there are certainly not all of them, but those are um, some partner schools that we have some kind of agreement with, with certain programs and everything that comes along with that. So our big um, partner, um, which seems pretty obvious because of even location, but uh, we have a big CSU partnership um, and it's been a longstanding partnership that's had some several different programs under this umbrella, but um, between Tri-C and Cleveland State University, we have launched um, a future Vikings program, which is really open to all students who plan to transfer to CSU. Um, some benefits from this program is you can access to Tri-C and CSU transfer centers, faculty counselors, academic advisors, and other student support services, early connections to Cleveland State academic colleges and departments, one-on-one -on -one advising at both institutions, 
pathways that ensure courses transfer and apply toward a CSU degree and priority consideration for transfer scholarships among those who meet academic qualifications. Um, so we're actually having a kickoff event in October for students interested. And again, it really is meant for any student thinking about transferring on to Cleveland State or any bachelor's degree program. We wanna make sure that you know your options and you know the connection between the two institutions. So we encourage you, um, if you have any questions about that, again, you're more than welcome to reach out to the Campus Transfer Centers for Assistance. So now transfer specifically in nursing, um, because as I was talking about before, we have these general transfer pathways and everything that comes along with that too. But um, being the nursing presentation, we wanna make sure that we're highlighting, you know, some partnerships or things that we have going on with some of our institutions or things that we offer through the transfer center that highlight the nursing program. And as I was chatting about before, there's the um, applied associate of science and then the associate of science and kind of knowing, you know, which, what's the difference between the two? Obviously, if you want to go through Tri-C's nursing program, the applied um, associate of science degree in nursing is, is a great route to go to earn that associate to then maybe explore some RN to BSN options, which I'll highlight here shortly. Um, sometimes students don't know if they want to do Tri-C's nursing program at this point, and they, they think they may want to apply to a nursing program. So they consider maybe the general associate of science, which you're not going to be taking really specific nursing classes as you would be in the Associate of Applied Science and Nursing, but you might be taking some of those general, general education requirements that would still be required at a four-year school. Um, truth be told, most four-year institutions, if not all of them, are going to encourage students to go through our nursing program because those RN to BSN programs with those partnerships we have, um, they're meant for the working nurse. They're meant for students to be working in their field, you know, as that licensed nurse and chisel away at their bachelor's degree. Um, sometimes in a um, time crunch time frame, so like they only need to do it within a year or so, and uh, sometimes obviously at a cheaper cost. So most of our partners are going to say do Tri-C's nursing program because that RN to BSN route um, tends to work out a little bit better based on sequencing and such. Um, and so those those are into BSN partners. Those are a list of schools that we typically work with or have some kind of agreement for R into BSN. As I mentioned before, um, they can be, you know, something that you can get done in 18 months um, as a working nurse, because, again, the idea is graduate from Tri-C, get your nursing degree, um, take the NCLEX, be a licensed nurse. And then as you work, you're able to chisel away at that bachelor's degree program. Um, again, all partner schools, probably our biggest one is Cleveland State with the continuum, which means we have a partnership with Tri-C and Cleveland State um, that students can continue through that and, and have pathways and deliberate suggested classes to help them both satisfy the nursing program here at Tri-C and then the bachelor's degree program um, in the BSN, so keeping that too in mind. Um, we offer every spring an RN to BSN fair um, where we bring in um, our great nursing faculty or, and, and nursing um, you know, dean's offices too, um, and then also some of our partner schools. So we expose our nursing students um, to our schools that have RN to BSN programs so that you can continue to explore those schools um, and opportunities. And it's a really great way to network and also connect and find out programs that might best suit you based on where you are in the program. So keep your eye on a, eye on that out for the spring. It usually happens every spring. COVID brought us this wonderful world of virtual, um, and we're probably going to be doing that again this spring, um, but we're hoping to bring it back uh, physically on campus shortly too, um, to give that opportunity for students as well. There's also the option of, of traditional transfer into nursing. So as I mentioned before, maybe not doing R into BSN, but doing the general associate science and looking at what the requirements are and to transfer into a bachelor's degree program. Admittedly, their requirements tend to be um, a little bit more competitive in terms of GPA um, and things of that nature. So sometimes the R into BSN can be um, a better fit just based on the opportunities and the exposure and everything that comes along that too. But there is opportunities with that as well. 
There's also something called an accelerated nursing program. And this doesn't mean that you can breeze through a nursing program quickly. This is for a student who earns their bachelor's degree in a completely different area. So like psychology or political science, and they come back for almost a second degree. There are some four year schools that offer what they would call an accelerated nursing program. So it, it is kind of going through the nursing program with the idea of already having a bachelor's degree and not an associate. So um, we help students explore those options too, if it's something that they're interested in. So different ways to connect with us. Um, we are available for appointments um, at our three campuses currently, the West Shore, the Metro, and the Western Campus. Um, you can schedule an appointment just by clicking on um, our website, um, and you're able to meet with us both phone, virtually, um, and in person. We do offer all those modalities of meeting with us, so we certainly encourage you to talk with us um, about your plans and how that fits. And again, certainly make sure that you're trans you're uh, connecting with us early about those transfer plans so that we can connect you early on um, and have those conversations as we move forward. So that ends everything on our end. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing my screen here. That's okay. Thank you so much, both of you, for your amazing presentation. I actually yeah. learned some very, very valuable information that I did not know about before. So I'm Thanks. sure our students will definitely be able to benefit from the amazing content. Um, you guys' so email addresses are located in the chat right now. So we will go ahead and end the recording. Anybody can reach out to you if they have questions after viewing the workshop. Cool. cool.